What's up YouTube? This is Mancock83. Today we're going to be installing Red Power Pre-Release 4D for Minecraft 1.1. Um, let's get into it. Open up your .minecraft folder. You should know how to get to that by now. If not, you can go down here and hit search and type in percent app data percent and it'll bring up to your roaming folder and your .minecraft folder. Uh, first thing we're going to do is want to do is open up bin, open up your minecraft.jar open it up with WinRAR or WinZip or Win7 whichever you prefer to use and come over here to this mateinf and delete it as always or you'll get black screens, nobody likes black screens <coughs> open up your these are the um, requirements for Red Power, it's going to be Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP and uh, Minecraft Forge Client, I believe you can use 1.3.0 but we're going to use the newest one 1.3.1 uh, open up Mod Loader first we're simply going to drag and drop all said items into your Minecraft jar. You can close out Mod Loader. Now open up Mod Loader MP. The MP stands for multiplayer, but is still required to use to be used for Red Power. <coughs> and we're going to install the Forge. Highlight everything in in there. And drop it in your Minecraft.jar. And now we're going to start up Minecraft. This is going to generate some uh, new folders here in our .minecraft. Make sure you start with a clean Minecraft, a .minecraft folder, or force update, whichever you prefer. And once you get to the Minecraft screen, you can close that out, and we have our new config and our new mods folder. Uh, one extra mod I'm going to be install, going to be installing is not enough items pretty much the same as too many items this is just to simply check and make sure that we got it installed correctly <coughs> and you're gonna take uh, not enough items drop it into your minecraft jar which now you can close out and close out not enough items and come back over to your dot minecraft jar I'm sorry your dot minecraft folder open up the new mods folder and we're going to add red power there are seven downloads for all the ver all the different versions of Red Power. Have fun downloading those because I believe they all have Adafly links on them. I think you can simply highlight them and drag them over. I'm going to copy and paste so I can save these for other things. And if you're going to install not enough items, you're going to need this chick uh, code chicken core client 0.4.1. If you don't add this to your mods folder, uh, you'll get a crash, and your game will not work. This is totally optional. You can leave this out. The code chicken core and not enough items if you want. This is just to simply check out and see how everything's working. We should have red power installed, so let's jump over to Minecraft. Alright, boys and girls, if you made it to the Minecraft screen, you installed red power correctly. And let's go into a world and make sure it works. I have a super flat test world here. And I was playing with some parts from uh, industrial craft earlier and blew a hole in the world. If we open up our inventory and we start scrolling through there's a a buffer and a <coughs> blue tris blue why can I not say this? Blue electric furnace. <laughs> uh, there's a project table, which is really cool. A uh, new item to it. Um, there's our lamps. Let's see, there's our solar panels. And there's our Lumar to make our lights, all the tools it adds. And all our paint cans. Everything seems to be installed and I seem to be getting a tag. Maybe they'll leave me alone now. Um, let's see what else. The only thing about not enough items that it does not seem to show are your alloys. Let's see. Let's. Well, it does show your alloys there. It will not show the wire. Unfortunately, you will need to craft them yourself you can give yourself all the alloys you need to make it.
and there we go you have red power installed uh, thanks for watching if you would like to see how red power works and any of its features i'm doing a let's play currently on them on version 1.0 of minecraft which will be updated shortly to version 1.1 as soon as all the mods i like to use get updated um again i appreciate you watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll try to answer them this is madcock 83 have a good day